All right, guys, it's not easy to see, but in there, I just installed 16 megabytes of fast RAM on the Mega 3000's motherboard. So it's got 16 megabytes of zip RAM. And up here, I also installed uh, 64 megabyte of um, fast RAM. So uh, it should be all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and test it, test the machine. It runs with the original 2.0. Come on. There we go. All right. I also cleaned both uh, disk drives and they should work perfect. As they do. So I have a major problem. I, I don't have the push buttons. Um, and I can't find a file to, to print it. So uh, yeah. All right, guys, sys chest, memory. Uh, list memory, there we go. Two megabytes of chip RAM, 16 megabyte fast RAM, and 64 megabyte fast RAM. So it should be enough for this little Amiga, <laughs> Amiga 3000. Um, it works nice, really, really nice. All right, let's test a... Let's test one of my favorite games, Turrican 1. This was programmed to run on a Amiga 500 with only 512 kilobytes of RAM. So um, let's see what's going to happen with the with the O30, um, O30 CPU and 82 megabytes of RAM. I don't know if the game will work, but if it does, it would just be great. All right, it's loading. Remember, Kickstart 2.0, it's not even 1.3. Doesn't this just look awesome, guys? Now we got uh, an external SCSI controller, internal here on the board and also on the onboard. But the best thing would be an IDE controller for me. <laughs> Guys, it works. It's just incredible. I love this machine. And also, I, uh, I collect Amiga joysticks and this is one of my favorites. It's designed like the Competition Pro. It's from um, Logic 3 and the, the control is just so exact. It, it's crazy well done. Yeah, we got Turk in action, guys. I love this joystick, but it's hard to play with one hand only. Wow, I can shoot. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, it's hard to play like this, but uh, I have found out that on the when I use the O30 processor and load with the disc, I get uh, graphical errors. And um, oh, damn! Okay, no, not easy with one hand. But when I do it with the WHD load, then, then there are no errors at all. So. Uh, that's because it's programmed to run with the O30. Damn, I wanna play with two hands. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, one of my Amiga 3000s, I, I, I use all my day on it. It's, it's cleaned up and it just works perfect with the 16 megabyte RAM on board and 64 on this. Uh, board phase 5 board no battery acid inside so uh, I think the last thing to do is ah, yes clean this one up 
Yeah. <laughs> And I'll have a perfect running Amiga 3000. It's just great. I'm so happy. And also, I'm also happy to share this moment with you. It's just, uh, yeah, it's not an easy, easy computer to to come by. And uh, and if they even come out on sale, you know, you know, uh, the prices are not that friendly anymore. Not not in 2018. It's a highly sort of computer because. It's a 32-bit uh, machine, uh, got 2 megabytes of chip RAM and 80 megabytes of fast RAM on this one, you know. It's got a built-in scan doubler, uh, remember that? Um, oh man, I love this game, I love the music, I love everything about your game. Huh? So, um, thank you for watching guys, bye!